wow, man, I just, words can't, words can't. Uh, I can't even start to, I'm speechless. This is something else right here, right now. <laughs> Cape Town coming together as one. Well. I'm so excited. Oh, what's up, Luther? Enjoy. So excited, it's been two years in the planning to get this event together. We went to international shows, we chose the most successful parts, and we've wrapped it up all into one single show for the first time in the Mother City. Some never seen before cars, Audi with their Q2, McLaren's, lots of amazing things happening here today. Unbelievable action, done for the family. Cape Town Motor Show, woo! We're very excited, we now have our own Cape Town Motor Show, and that we're adding to the events calendar of Cape Town but it's fitting in perfectly with what we want to achieve to build Cape Town to become the events capital of Africa. And what I'm also like about this uh, Oakville event today is they're also putting, giving money back into the community and donating to communities. And I'm sure thousands of people will come through over the weekend to come and see these beautiful cars. And indeed, thousands of people flocked through the gates. There was so much on offer, everything from drifting to insane car and bike displays, tyre changing contests to awesome prize giveaways. I mean, they gave away a Harley Davidson. A Harley Davidson! What we have right here is a 6x6 Gelendewagen Mercedes-Benz AMG. Needless to say, it's a showstopper. Uh, most of the people recognize the front that looks like a Gelendewagen, but once they see the rear of the vehicle, they realize that there's something a bit extra. Six by six sits on obviously six 18-inch tires, Hutchinson rims, military spec. You can literally drive over a mine and the rims will stay on. The vehicle can inflate and deflate on the go. We created two boxes, side toolboxes on each side, matching the tubes. So the one is a toolbox, and on the other side we have a neat whiskey cabinet. Mercedes-Benz built a hundred of these monsters, which have currently have been all sold out. Ten of them were brought in South Africa, and one of them will set you back about one million US. The T63 is, is not for the ordinary. That's a beast. That's an absolute beast. Massive thing, looks like a truck, really. Smashing. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, uh, I don't even, I can't even describe it, really. It's, it's, it's the kind of car I would want to buy. <laughs> yeah, no, hi, you are balling, my brother. D do you know how much this uh, ride costs? Probably looking at 4.5 million. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. I think it's 6 million. Nuh -uh. 7 million. Try again. 7.9 million. No. 8.5 million. Okay, let's try an amount higher than 10 million rand. I think it's um, 15 million. That's right, my brother. That is correct. It's roughly 15 million rands. That's roughly 15. 15 million rand. I'm Alex, I'm from a small shop in Cape Town called Cave Customs. We're based in Stickland and today we've got a 1941 Chevy Dratron. We've always been a fan of the rat rods you see in America, the salt flat races and we wanted to do a South African touch on one, a South African version of one, and something that's got our stamp on it. So first of all, it's got a small block, 383 cubic inch um, Chevrolet engine with the 750 Holly racing carburetor and a very angry supercharger. That's all being driven by a 400 turbo drag strip gearbox and a BMI race shifter. Then it's running truck tires, with truck wheels, a huge BMW radiator. It's got airplane seats in the interior. It's got a train air horn. It's got some cool spades as door handles. It's quite funny when you drive this around town or down the highway. People are literally hanging out of their cars with their cell phones, trying to take videos and trying to just capture it on the road. Funnily enough, this car is being used as a daily driver. Uh, the owner runs all his errands with it and 
we do have fun in the dirt with it. It throws a mean donut and it does an incredibly long burnout. Well, my favorite part of this is obviously the amount of power it makes. It makes about 730 horsepower and about 900 Newton meters. So all that on a lorry dip is just a bucket full of fun. Seeing this uh, hot rod is just amazing. It's hugely heavy on fuel. That's why there's a separate jerry can just for in case. If I had the money, I would buy it. <laughs> Behind me we have the Porsche 911, Carrera, GTS, PDK, 991. Well, what makes this car special is that it comes with the factory fitted uh, sports exhaust. Um, our client wasn't uh, particularly happy with that, even though it is an amazing system but he opted for the Armatrix uh, stainless steel Valvetronic performance exhaust, which we fitted uh, to the vehicle. Most exhausts uh, that have valve technology come with a remote that allows the driver to open the valves or close the valves. Um, what makes Armatrix unique is that they've gone one step further, allowing the driver to open the valves while he's driving the car with his iPhone. What? The iPhone? Siraz? Nah, you must be joking, man. Uh, as you can hear, the car is idling quite quietly now, um, and by pushing it to on, you will hear the valves open. You, 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 you. And you can turn it off. So, you've basically got best of both worlds. You can either uh, drive down the street discreetly, or you can uh, turn it open and um, start on again. So that's the sound of Porsche makes. Let's see just how well people can recreate that. Porsche. I wouldn't know. I can't afford one. <laughs> yeah, moving on. How's it? I'm Alex from Stu's Customs. Uh, we specialize in building and servicing custom American V-Twins. As everything digital now is the way forward, um, I'm bringing it into my brand and into everything I manufacture, like the digital speedo. Uh, you get a little tag now to start the bike that you just swipe over the handlebars and it turns on all your electronics. Uh, all the small digital push buttons to turn the power, uh, the power on and everything's controlled from a very small electronic unit. Because I handcraft every bike, every single bike has its own personality and its own uh, trait. It's like asking a father which is his favorite son in a way. You know, when you have something in pieces and you actually at the end, you create it and you machine it, you bleed, you sweat, and then the final product comes together and you actually get to ride it down the road. Nothing beats that. I mean, the, 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 the accomplishment that's any, from anything, from a car, a bike, a, whatever you've started from scratch and seen the end result is just amazing. And what an amazing show it's been. Big thanks to all our partners and our sponsors that have got involved with us for this show. The event's been a great turnout, especially for us. I mean, with our cars making such a noise, we're getting a lot of guys coming around. Fantastic display of, uh, of accessories as well. So nice all-in-one, great family day for everyone to be out. Hopefully, they'll do it again for sure. Um, it's all about growing the brand and just getting everybody all involved in the motor community, which is awesome. Cape Town Motor Show!